Hey everybody, let's talk about the Munter Mule Overhand. This is a great compound knot, meaning it's created of three different knots. It's created from the Munter, the Mule, which is a slip knot, and the Overhand knot, uh, which is tied with a bite. And this is, imagine you're on a, you've, ha you've doubled your rope, and you're on a one strand and you are descending down this strand and this strand is back up for emergencies so let's say you're on rappel and you get you're only um, you get down and you're running out of rope and you still have 30 feet to go well what can happen is now you're someone at your anchor point up here um, I'm showing here um, an anchor design that I created called the Anchor 8. You can see a video for it um, in my library. And um, by communicating to someone up near your anchor that you need more uh, rope, they can take this, undo it, and then carefully bring this through. And then they can yank it out, and then voila, they can allow they can help you they can give you more rope they can um belay you down basically and that's really great for rescue purpose too um it helps you in a rescue situation um rescuer, rescuers are going to be happy if they see something like this as far as your setup so here's how you tie it so find the middle of your rope and then you're going to pass it through and tie a munter. Now if you don't know how to tie a munter I have a video on it. You can check that out but it's essentially put the rope through make a twist like that and then connect that to the carabiner and now this is my load strand this is all the backup that I have, which is equivalent to the length of my load strand. Usually, not all the time, but you can adjust it if you, you know, have if you need more length than you need for backup. So it really depends on your situation. But anyways, once you've tied your munter, which will allow you to, you know, lay someone from the anchor point you can now make a twist like this and then put it on top of the load strand and feed a bite through like this and make sure you grab the load strand with your left hand and with your right hand you grab the top strand on the bite and you get it really nice and close to the munter and then you're going to feed through a large bite of rope and you're going to tie an overhand knot so that means you're going to go over this and at this point a lot of people are tempted to bring the loop through here and connect it like that that would be a half hitch, not an overhand knot. So we're avoiding that. We're going around and then through again, like that. Beautiful. And so now you have it good to go. I really recommend that people incorporate this into their climbing systems um, especially for certain situations like caving or alpining uh, where it's you know multiple people and where you might find yourself in a situation where you know you need to lower a climber so this has been the uh, munter mule overhand thank you for watching